hi everyone welcome to raw online this is dr shrivatsan your faculty for biochemistry and in today's session we will be seeing about the first part of today's class that is nucleic acids okay so what are nucleic acids they form the structural the formation bricks of your dna the structural composition of your dna okay so these are nothing but the polymers of nucleotides which have been joined by 3 dash 5 dash phospho diester linkage sounds very complicated right okay let me try to explain this in a much better way so that by the end of this session you should be understanding about this uh, various kinds of linkages the numbering uh, the secret of numbering behind those kind of a uh, linkages okay so are you clear with this right now we move on into this session now okay so what are the types of nucleic acids you all know it could either be a ribonucleic acid or deoxy ribonucleic acid okay uh, ribonucleic acid or deoxy ribonucleic acid okay so what is the difference between ribonucleic acid and deoxy ribonucleic ribonucleic acid form components of rna yeah, RNA is nothing but a ribonucleic acid and deoxyribonucleic acid where you find a, instead of OH at the second position of this ribo sugar, uh, instead of OH you find H. Okay. See, this is your structure of your ribose. This is the structure of your ribose. Okay. So, in this, this will be your first carbon. This should be your second carbon. This is your third carbon. This is your fourth carbon and the fifth carbon will be seen here, CH2, okay. This is your fifth carbon, okay. So, it is a ribosugar, okay. Here, these areas will be having OH groups in it, OH, H, OH, 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 okay. Are you clear with this? So, this is a ribosugar. Now, what do you mean by deoxyribose? Deoxyribose. It means what? You are removing a oxygen group. This deoxyribose is nothing but 2 deoxyribose. It means what? You are going to remove the oxygen from the second position, second carbon. So, it basically becomes what? The H here will become H. Are you clear with this? So, this is a uh, D, 2 deoxy ribose sugar. It is a pentose sugar. This is a 2 deoxy ribose sugar. Okay. So, it is this back, backbone upon which your, you, your name of DNA or RNA is dependent. Okay. Now, to this ribose sugar, you add a base. That base could be that is a nitrogenous base right that base could be either a purine or a pyrimidine okay so these nitrogenous bases where do they get attached in this structure they get attached at the first position this is the first carbon i explained right this oh is there right instead of that oh this nitrogenous base will get attached here okay so what you call this you call this it's a nucleoside in nucleoside what you find you find your ribosugar or your deoxyribosugar i have drawn the deoxyribosugar because i'll be going uh, i'll be finally drawing the structure of dna through this so this is a deoxyribosugar 2 deoxyribosugar please make a note and this 2 deoxyribosugar is getting attached to some kind of a nitrogenous base okay at the first position now this nitrogenous base could either be a purine or a pyrimidine Okay, so this base could either be what a purine or a pyrimidine. I will be explaining about these nitrogenous bases a little short from now. Okay, as of now, we just see what are the significant 
types and what are the significant linkage uh, on uh, each of the structural uh, backbone of your DNA. Clear? Now, this deoxyribose I told you has been combined to your nitrogenous base. So, what do you think the name of this linkage will be? You are actually glycosylating your bases. You are actually glycosylating your purine or a pyrimidine. Okay. So, this is what kind of a linkage? This is a glycosidic linkage. This is what kind of a linkage? This is a glycosidic linkage because it is basically you are glycosidizing, I mean you are adding a sugar to your base, purine base or a pyrimidine base. Okay, so this is glycosidic linkage and these purine and pyrimidine you can see here, I will explain the structure later on. These are nitrogenous bases, you can find more amount of nitrogen in it and this nitrogen are the one which is going to come and combine in this. So, you call that as N-glycosidic linkages. Are you clear with this? These are called as N-glycosidic linkage. Okay. In case of purine, it will be N9 and in case of pyrimidine, it will be N1. This N9 of purine combines with the first position for the, the first region here by a glycosidic linkage and this glycosidic linkage is N-glycosidic linkage. Okay. And this sugar now has a what what kind of a configuration is this this is a beta configuration okay so you call this whole linkage as beta n glycosidic linkage guys okay so it could if that is a purine it could be n9 n9 of purine and n1 of your pyrimidine is going to get attached to the first position here by beta n glycosidic linkage. 